Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis for PhoenixGenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Frag Camp. We're playing Minecraft on PlayStation 4 in the Phoenix Genesis Survival World with the Natural Texture Pack. And previously we're over here at our windmill. If you haven't seen my video on that, uh, check it out. That's one of the nicest things I've built. Uh, this is my first modern house. This is what we're going to look at today. And I've actually named it. I call it Duality. And the reason I call it Duality is because of several reasons. Because it's uh, two different kind of opposite opposing color themes, which are basically the green and the uh, pink. Well, it's actually magenta stained clay, but kind of um, these two kind of are opposites. And then I use this neutral desert. And also the fact because part of the... Um, uh, landscaping is in a desert dry environment that does not rain and part of it is in this rainy environment and then over here we kind of have the snowy and um snowy environment as well so it is this kind of a juxtaposition and I just I don't know duality just kind of popped in my head and previously in my last build over at Bryce we saw that used um, you know glowstone underneath the walkway for hidden lighting but uh, this time all I did was I used um, redstone and now they have the sea lantern would I swap it out no because the blue of the sea lantern and the natural texture pack just doesn't go with the magenta clay I think um, the and the design I really think that the uh, redstone lamps in this uh, scenario work best. Uh, another reason I call this duality as well is because of the fact that it's it's part man-made and part nature. And I tried to carry through that theme throughout the house. So one way I carried that through is we see the um, green grass here and the yellow flowers. And then we have the um, lighting underneath with this black glass. And then we see the uh, grass and the flowers again. So it almost looks like it's uh, mirrored. But of course, obviously, it's not. There's a pig snut sitting on this side. Um, actually, if I wanted to completely mirror it, I could have expanded out and did that. That would have been interesting. But um, I just really like the feel that the nature keeps continuing on. And kind of over here, too, it looked much better when the portals were kind of more solid and it didn't have these uh, kind of uh, gaps in between. I hope they fix that in the uh, T32 update. But um, I like kind of here, too, how we kind of have this um, man-made part and then kind of the nature right here that kind of carries through. So we're in, in like, it's almost like some jungly portal entering through. I kind of, if you remember, my Mushroom Island Nether portal is kind of similar to that. And um, again, I kind of kept this open to kind of carry through also the um, seamlessness of the uh, ceiling from exterior to interior. And again, um, you know, this mirrored effect, there's my little dog. We'll take a look. Let me um, go kind of go around the house and we'll go in the house as well. And we'll end up at those pillars because I want to explain that. So um, we just kind of used uh, the... Um, Leaves for hedges. Always like to have that nether wart here for planting. That's kind of important. Um, and I just kind of use some torches up here. Just kind of seem to fit the uh, build. And the two sides are not the same. They're kind of different. You know, this side and the other side. And that's okay in a house. It just depends what you're doing. This is a modern house. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. Um, I think the asymmetry kind of makes it more interesting and dynamic. Uh, this is a, also I call this duality because it's kind of a split level. What's called earth burned house so that uh, you know when you enter you're level with the ground kind of at sea level but here you're recessed and the ground is higher and I, I really like that feel in, in this house I just kind of you know and I like having the um, you know these kind of red uh, nether warp plants out here I think they kind of really look nice uh, here's the other side right here I added this little fountain I like that uh, anvils again make great um, planter stands and, and with these beams now you can see these are kind of my um, um, modern this is where it gets kind of this modern feel with these kind of funky beams that are just design elements not really utilitarian unless you want to kind of call it a little bit of a carport shade carport for my non-existent um, car that I could build and put there but again I used the uh, torches up here but let's go but what I like about it is the design how it continues through the flow of the house and if you see we come in here and see with the ceiling we've got these uh, kind of magenta st four stripes that kind of carry through from out there they're kind of lined up actually if we open the door you can kind of see it better how it kind of comes in and travels through and I really just kind of like that feel of of kind of seamlessness and uh, here for the design element I kept it I just kept with the magenta and green colors just a duality and then these neutral to light tones I wanted this to be a very light and airy home so here we have the birch for the flooring and kind of the sandstone for the ceiling and again the uh, redstone lamps lighting everything 
and I used some, uh, I wanted to have, keep this green, so I used uh, mossy cobblestone for the table and just, uh, you know, the uh, with some uh, green carpeting for the uh, table top and then just the sandstone um, stairs for the uh, benches. And here uh, with the bed, I just kind of slapped in between here, put some speakers, uh, kept a really neutral color painting that kind of blended in with the uh, sandstone. I think that worked best instead of, and I have no clue what that painting's supposed to be. I always think of like creeper astronauts, like, oh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landing on the um, moon or something. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Enlighten me if you know and have a good laugh at my stupidity. But uh, here we have um, Huff and Puff, my pet pig, who kind of just showed up while I was building the house. And over here we have um, Big, Big Bad Wolf. So it's kind of my uh, in-house joke you, where the three little pigs said in the story, you can huff and puff, but you can't blow my house down, you Big Bad Wolf. So that's kind of why I uh, named the two that. So anyway, here it is, uh, Duality, a Minecraft Modern House by Phoenix Genesis. You are here. My coordinates I always like to do, so you know where you are. Phoenix Genesis Seed. And again, I'm using the Natural Texture Pack. Uh, we also have here, uh, again, the black glass. It gives it a little bit more privacy and kind of snaps out the uh, lighter colors of the build. We have a nice little Siamese cat I imported called Tao. And again, we have, um, you know, no house is complete without brewing and um, your enchanting. Uh, so we have a nice buffed out enchantment table. We have the mushrooms and the uh, pots, which make nice little kind of modern lights, you know, lamps. And then we come down the split level and we have all our basics for our kitchen. Not not very heavy on the storage, just a bunch of stuff. You know, this is more of a waypoint house. Uh, uh, it's not like a main house I really live in. Um, if I want to be more uh, full on equipped, I'll go over to uh, Bryce or my temple or, um, you know, my... Uh, no, my main train station. This is again just kind of a waypoint house, uh, just something fun to build. Uh, again, you can see how the interior came, it looks here with the uh, nether ward. Like I said, it's all earth bermed. I really like the feel. And um, grass wouldn't have been appropriate here, so I just kind of went with the green carpet to pick up with the uh, green grass outside. I think that kind of gives that still that kind of nature-y feel. Maybe if I'd have made ho the house longer, I could have continued the nether ward, but I just like it the way it is. And, um, you know, we have an ender chest. We have cauldrons, crafting table, and, of course, of lots and lots of furnaces. And our brewing stands... And I was going to say, if you know, for this kind of house, you could, I could always expand at some point and make um, a trap door or stairs with some, um, which these trap doors could cover up and make kind of a basement to go down with whatever I wanted to put downstairs, you know, a bathroom, a bedroom, make it more of a um, creative looking house other than a um, full on survival the way it is now, my survival seed. So, um, and it is expandable. I mean, all houses kind of are if you build them a certain way, but at this point, I just like it small and light and compact. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you, Tao, for participating in Big, Big Bad Wolf and uh, Huff and Puff. And please like, subscribe, comment, rate. I've got more houses on the way. As always, I've built a lot more and I just slowly are chipping away getting to show you guys everything. Phoenix Genesis signing out.